Hey guys, it's Dan here with a new video, and today I'm standing on my roof, you know, as people normally do. <laughs> Just checking out some views. Actually, I, uh, I was looking to see if this area over here was going to be too visible from where my house is, because I don't really want it to be. I terraformed, flattened out an area over there, and put some posts up to see how visible it is. And I can sort of see them, but I don't really see them, so that's going to be good. That was going to be the video, but then I was walking this way, and I saw that. Oh my goodness, someone put a new building there. We have to go check it out. All right, so we're gonna try to fly. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just be over there immediately. Oh, look at that, we're flying. All right, so I found out that in the last video, I kept on saying I don't have enough iron. So if I made this thing called an iron farm, I could probably get away with having iron. So. Let's look at this on all sides. This is a building that looks like an old, I don't know, like pre, pre tall buildings, city type building. So like where the cities are built, they have these old buildings. That's what it was supposed to look like. So this is like a whole garage door and it opens up. It's called Dan's Ironworks, 2256 is the address. So if you got any idea, that means there's probably gonna be roads or other buildings if I have addresses so that's the idea I'm gonna be placing other buildings in this area and they're all going to be farm based or some sort of based type thing that's similar to a farm uh, the reason this one's sort of so far away is because there's villagers actually in it and these villagers need to be not next to a village and that village you know was too close so it wouldn't have created the iron golems and after I was done making the Thing. I'm like, you know what? I should put a building around this and make it into a thing. So the reason there wasn't much recording on it is because I didn't plan on any of this being in a video, but it looks good and I'm gonna make it into an industrial district now, so it's gonna be a video. So we got a sign up there that says Dan's Iron. I mean it's Dan's Iron Works, but I couldn't get works on there. But that's the building. Let's go inside and see what the uh, <laughs> whole inside looks like because it's oh hey Dougie. So it's got uh don't don't mind him he's just a worker who's who's uh testing out the lava to see if it works it works uh he's gonna disappear soon don't look at that so we have this string uh the string definitely does not come from cats and we have flowers uh because the workers like to, to give me flowers for my being for me being such a great boss that's what it is yeah so we'll look down here, they drop some iron and flowers and string. Definitely nothing going on with any anything dying or anything like that. It's more just appreciation gifts, you know? So that's how it works. I did follow a tutorial for making the actual farm itself. I'll link that in the description. It's like the first one you find when you Google bedrock simple iron farm. So I'm only doing one side. I don't have all the villagers that he has for this big one. Other than that, this is just an intro to uh, to the industrial district. So I got that going. So let's fly over to the other area and look at that and talk about what the other video is going to be. And while we're flying over there, we'll have a nice view of everything. So there goes the house and all the stuff. So I was thinking for the other video that I was planning on doing, these villagers, they have all these things going on and all that stuff. They need a prison or a jail for people that misbehave so I was gonna place a prison in here and the reason the prison came to mind is because I don't know if you guys watch other people but XP crafted he does the uh, hermitcraft stuff and on his latest video he was making a fence that had what was supposed to be barbed wire on top and I commented on that video about him using maybe some uh, coral so like the fans and then when I went into a testing world, I found out that that wasn't as possible as I thought. So I did a whole bunch of creative testing. So let's go over there and look at that for a second. So we're in the uh, creative testing world. You can see that's where I did all the armor stands for one of the videos. So if we have, this is how we had it. He had chain links up and that looks cool. But the idea I had was these fans were gonna be like razor wire. And that looks really cool. But you have to have a solid block for them to connect to. If you put them on top of a wall, they uh, break when you place another one next to them after a little bit. It's uh, just not sustainable. 
but we have we have this looking really cool where we're using them to look like razor wire and then we have different block backgrounds so this is like a sort of concrete-ish looking this looks like a maybe a weathered metal and then these look like stones like uh, cobblestones or like the scoop stone that you scoop on like you take stones and scoop them on and glue them onto the wall I mean that's how they do it in actual construction so it's like pebble pebble rock walls stone walls so any of those I thought were feasible for attaching the uh, razor wire to so I really just wanted to make a prison just so I could put these up <laughs> so uh, so we're gonna be doing that in a future video and we're going to be adding stuff to the industrial district in future videos so let's uh, let's go back to the future spots of one of those things and then talk about some stuff in the, end of the video all right as this loads in and we fly over here you guys tell me all three of you in the comment section below what kind of buildings or farms or industrial type things you want to see in this district over here and maybe some ideas on block pallets that we could have for the uh, sidewalks and roads like name anything like that in the comments like if you don't comment on videos usually feel free to comment because I'm looking for those comments and uh, as you're doing that I will while you're writing those comments, I will explain to you all the cool details of this building and how I made it look weathered. So we have blackstone walls with some detents. You see how it detents in here? That adds depth. And we have this rising out that adds depth also. If you look, the wood has different pieces of wood that look like they're weathered because the paint's coming off or it got stripped or something like that. That's using the stripped logs. And we're using different aspects of this granite to look like it's different kinds of weather because it's an old building and that goes the same with all the blackstone and if we go over here we can see that it's a slant so it goes up so this is going to be slanting with the rain falling we're going to have that be the alleyway this be the road sideway most likely because when we're on a road you see a sign for what the building is so this is going to be road potentially buildings over here too maybe not because i want the sign to be able to be seen and then this is going to be an alleyway over here and over here we're going to maybe have more buildings that are a lot closer this is where the workers walk i'm not sure if i'm going to do anything about this yet i don't really know so that's the uh plan for now all right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked the ideas I was putting forth with all this. And leave comments. Be sure to leave comments on what you want to see me build with and all the stuff I ask you questions on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.